first one I would say is the disclosure document itself. So uh, you've probably heard the term FDD, which is short for a franchise disclosure document. It is a about 23 items in a, in a particular document that is standardized by what's called the Federal Trade Commission um, and in particular states as well. But there's uh, I'm one to 23 talking about- It's my first time hearing it. Yeah, okay. This is good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this so, is good. Yeah, so okay. things like, hey, how much is it gonna cost you to open it up, oh. right? Um, what are the responsibilities of the franchisor, you as a franchisor? What, what are you not responsible for, right? How many stores do you have open? How many stores ah. do you expect, right? And so um, this combined with all the exhibits, the, the contract itself, and some of the supplemental documents, these can add up to about 200 pages worth of essentially contracts, wow. right? And so uh, even for lawyers, right? That's kind of on the, sometimes on the higher end of documentation. So I think, some and i'm not saying it's impossible so it's not something that i would just a lot of people like business owner that's starting out a lot of the time we do is we google and we say hey how you know of samples right it doesn't work from what you, a 200 page is not gonna you're gonna go find yeah out google. yeah you, you'll, you'll find a sample but it's not it's not as easy as just taking out that information from there and then putting your own information there there's a lots of nuances that are involved and one company may want to be responsible for in terms of delivering the, the services another company may may not want so like I had a client that uh, for a long time they would help with grand opening services right and so th this was an additional fee but hey yeah, for a fee we'll give you the plan We'll, um, we'll contact the local chamber of commerce. Um, we'll bring a DJ. So they can have a whole party, right, for a grand opening. But uh, for another system, they, they may not want that, right? They might just say, okay, um, we won't collect the fee, but your response, the franchisee is responsible for uh, for pay, um, spending at least, let's just say $10,000, $10,000 on, yes. on the grand opening, right? And so if you're not familiar with these particular nuances, right, it's oh, gonna wow. really bite you in the end. And so obviously as a spirit franchise attorney, you're kind of attuned to these particular things and you can raise it uh, with our clients as, hey, do you wanna do this, do you wanna? And a lot of times the clients, right, the first time franchising, so we'll offer as a suggestion. One of my clients, they're very hands-on, it's like, I know we'll want to be in, uh, very involved with the process. It's different for everybody, but at the end of the day, the documentation is very thorough. It's a lot. And uh, it protects you from getting sued. Yeah, right. So really, it protects everybody, right? Yes. Because the document is there as everyone knows what they're getting and what they're not getting. Yeah. I work a lot on the franchisors and prepare the documents for them so that it's obviously compliant with not only federal law, uh, but usually uh, particular states have their own requirements and so we have to obviously make it compliant with that state's particular law as well. And then the franchisees, they can also hire you to help them review this document too. Yeah, yeah, so I've done that type of work before, uh, although most of our experience is on the franchisor sort, but by virtue of us drafting these particular documents, we have, we've seen a lot and we're kind of experienced okay. in, 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 we write them themselves, so that's all we know. Yes. That's what we're being You're offered. You're the builder. Right? You should know, you know <laughs> right. the plan, right? You should yeah. have the blueprint yeah. because you're the build, you, know, yeah. you, you do the blueprint and you also build. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Yeah. So documentation is needed if you're gonna, well, with any business, so not only Volvo shops or whatnot, and it's with other business, you do it for, for corporate or starting out as well, right? Thank you.